What are you being tempted with today? I asked that question last week. Might be something different this week for somebody in here. What are you being tempted with today? What is Satan trying to use to lure you away from God's kingdom work? What scripture has Satan taken and distorted and taken out of context and read it back to you? And since you don't want to come to Bible study, you don't read your Bible, you heard something about it. So, well, he talking about God, you know. I, yeah, I'm reminded of one time my kids, we were watching some award show. I think it was Hip Hop Award. No, it wasn't Hip Hop. It was a, a the ruffle one, I don't know. But anyhow, uh, this brother was up there talking and he was going on. I said, now who is that? I asked my son. He said, oh, mama, no, he, he's rapping everything. He, he says Jesus, you know, but I heard him say a whole lot of other stuff too. And I'm like, I don't know how you heard Jesus. <laughs> and when he sing, he say Jesus. I'm like, yeah, at what point? And you know, kind of, kind of got mixed up in the wash, right? Uh, see, that's how Satan does us. He knows that we don't know the whole scripture. Uh, so he give us a little piece of it. And we think, well, you know, that, I heard that. I heard the pastor say that on Sunday. And then here we go on off following. Because we don't know what God says. That's what G Jesus said. I don't care about you with them half scriptures. Mm -hmm. God said, don't you ever put me to the test. That's what this is about. <laughs> Talking about some kingdoms and temples and falling down. He said, don't put me to the test. Uh -huh. So you got to know all of the word in order to be able to stand up. What are we being tempted with today? And if we're not being tempted, think about the last time you were tempted. Did the thing you were tempted with look like the very thing that you loved or you desired? Did it challenge you in your area of weakness, in the area where you have the least amount of control? Does it haunt you and come back every time you get real busy or you get committed to the things of God? During some of those high moments in your Christian life, does this thing just keep coming back? See, we get deceived because just because something keeps coming back, we think it's for us. We never think that maybe this is the thing that's trying to destroy us. Huh? We got to always be careful. What are we being tempted with today? Because God wants us to know today that there is no temptation that seeks to take us that is uncommon to man. But God is faithful. If you don't remember anything else about what I said today, remember that God is faithful. Yes, oh, he's faithful. That's good news. Yes. He won't allow the temptation to take you down. But he has already provided a means of escape so you can bear it. And so that we can defeat the attack of the enemy that seeks to destroy us. There's a song that I've always loved. And I want us to try to sing some of it. I hope y'all sing it like I know it. It's, There's a bright side somewhere. There's a bright side somewhere. Don't you rest until you find it. There's a bright side somewhere. This is the word of the Lord, brothers and sisters. Come on.